Well, good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. Uh, today's video, just a real quick tip for beginners out there. Uh, I use a lot of these Victor rat traps out on the line. I use them for squirrels, use them for weasels. And uh, here in New Brunswick, everything has to be enclosed, fully enclosed in a wooden or metal box uh, with an opening no bigger than 3.75 centimeters or whatever, basically an inch and a half. Uh, so when you get everything all in that box and you get your weasel trap down in there, it's a real pain to set. I mean, they're tough and you end up, you end up snapping your fingers or they, they snap by mistake or whatever. So just a real quick tip for you beginners out there. I'll show you a real easy way to get these set in the boxes quick and easy. All right, folks, here we go. So when I build my boxes, uh, and if you haven't yet seen the video on how to build these great uh, double or single weasel or squirrel boxes, go ahead and check that out on the channel. It's a real good one. Um, Anyway, so when I build them, I drill a hole uh, up from the edge, um, about seven inches back from the opening of the door, and I drill it up from the bottom about an inch and three quarter. And then I use, uh, well, I just actually use one of these foot long nails um, to 12 inch, 12 inch spikes, and I use those, or you can use anything you want. Uh, you can use a piece of rebar, you can use whatever. So anyway, you get your rat trap and it's gonna be down in here, right? So it's a real pain. You don't want to set it first and then try to lay it down in there. You're going to get your hand snapped for sure. Uh, but now that it's down in there, you got to reach in and try to manipulate it and set it all at the same time. And that's a real pain too. So what I've discovered is that if you drill your hole in the side of your box right here, inch and three quarter up, seven inches back, and you do that the same on each side, and then take your metal rebar here or metal nail or whatever you want to use, uh, all you have to do is grab the spring of the trap, bend it back, okay, pretty easy to do, flip down the little triggery thing here, so that you're like, just like you're going to set it, but don't mess with the trigger or anything, and then just put your piece, put your nail through your hole on both sides, okay, so now what you've just, now what you've just done is you've just made it so that it can't snap, right? but yet there's still tension on the trigger enough that you can set this trap really easily. If I could get the pan to sit around there straight. Okay, so you can still, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but you can still push down and set the trap, done, and then just take out your nail and you're done, right? So now your trap is in there and it's all set. You didn't have your hands anywhere near it, your fingers anywhere near it. So if you were, um, if you're one of the new guys out there uh, and you're just getting into weasel trapping or squirrel trapping or whatever and uh, you're finding it a little difficult to get your hands down in there to get things set, uh, that's a perfect quick and easy way. So just a simple hole on each side, piece of metal, stick, whatever you want to use, right? And then that allows, it doesn't allow the, the trap to spring, but it still allows you enough tension to set the trap just like that. Pull out your piece of steel and you're good to go. You can reset rat traps in these things in, in five seconds, right? So anyway, uh, just something real quick. Uh, I hope this helps you out and uh, you can use it on your line. So until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.